RDRAND previously known as Bull Mountain is an instruction for returning random numbers from an Intel on-chip hardware random number generator which has been seeded by an on-chip entropy source. RDRAND is available in Ivy Bridge processors and is part of the Intel 64 and IA32 instruction set architectures. AMD added support for the instruction in June 2015. The random number generator is compliant with security and cryptographic standards such as NIST SP 800-90A, FIPS 140-2, and ANSI X 9.82. Intel also requested Cryptography Research Inc. to review the random number generator in 2012, which resulted in the paper analysis of Intel's Ivy Bridge Digital Random Number Generator. RDSEED is similar to RDRAND and provides higher level access to the entropy hardware. The RDSEED generator and processor instruction RDC are available with Intel Broadwell CPUs and AMD Zen CPUs. Topic Overview The CPU ID instruction can be used to check whether the central processing unit CPU supports the RDRAND instruction on both AMD and Intel CPUs. If supported, bit 30 of the ECX register is set after calling CPU ID standard function 01H. AMD processors are checked for the feature using the same test. RDSEED availability can be checked on Intel CPUs in a similar manner. If RDSEED is supported, the bit 18 of the EBX register is set after calling CPU ID standard function 07H. The opcode for RDRAND is hexadecimal OF hexadecimal C7, followed by a modrum byte that specifies the destination register and optionally combined with a REX prefix in 64 bit mode. Intel Secure Key is Intel's name for both the RDRAND instruction and the underlying random number generator. RNG hardware implementation, which was codenamed Bull Mountain during development. Intel calls their RNG a digital random number generator or DRNG. The generator takes pairs of 256 bit raw entropy samples generated by the hardware entropy source and applies them to an advanced encryption standard AES in CBC Mac mode conditioner, which reduces them to a single 256 bit conditioned entropy sample. A deterministic random bit generator called center underscore DRBG defined in NIST SP 800-90A is seeded by the output from the conditioner, providing cryptographically secure random numbers to applications requesting them via the RDRAND instruction. The hardware will issue a maximum of 511,128 bit samples before changing the seed value. Using the RDSEED operation provides access to the conditioned 256 bit samples from the AES CBC Mac. The RDSEED instruction was added to Intel Secure Key for seeding another pseudorandom number generator, available in Broadwell CPUs. The entropy source for the RDSEED instruction runs asynchronously on a self-timed circuit and uses thermal noise within the silicon to output a random stream of bits at the rate of 3 GHz, slower than the effective 6.4 gigabits per second obtainable from RDRAND both rates are shared between all cores and threads. The RDSEED instruction is intended for seeding a software PRNG of arbitrary width, whereas the RDRAND is intended for applications that merely require high-quality random numbers. If cryptographic security is not required, a software PRNG such as Exashift is usually faster. Performance. 
On an Intel Core i7-7700K, 4500 MHz processor KB Lake S microarchitecture, a single RDRAND or RDSEED instruction takes 110 nanoseconds or 463 clock cycles, regardless of the operand size 16 30 seconds, 64 bits. This number of clock cycles applies to all processors with Skylake or KB Lake microarchitecture. On the Silvermont microarchitecture processors, each of the instructions take around 1472 clock cycles, regardless of the operand size, and on Ivy Bridge processors RDRAND takes up to 117 clock cycles. On an AMD Ryzen CPU, each of the instructions takes around 1200 clock cycles for 16 bit or 32 bit operand, and around 2500 clock cycles for a 64 bit operand. An astrophysical Monte Carlo simulator examined the time to generate 107 64-bit random numbers using RDRAND on a quad-core Intel i7-3740QM processor. They found that AC implementation of RDRAND ran about 2x slower than the default random number generator in C, and about 20x slower than the Merson twister. Although a Python module of RDRAND has been constructed, it was found to be 20x slower than the default random number generator in Python. Topic: <laughs> Compilers. GCC 4.6 Plus and Clang 3.2 Plus provide intrinsic functions for RD RAND when MRDRND is specified in the flags, also setting underscore underscore RDRND underscore underscore to allow conditional compilation. Newer versions additionally provide Imantrin H to wrap these built ins into functions compatible with version 12.1 Plus of Intel's C compiler. These functions write random data to the location pointed to by their parameter, and return one on success. <laughs> Sample x86 ASM code to check upon RDRAND instruction Applications. <laughs> 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 It is an option to generate cryptographically secure random numbers using RDRAND and RDSEED in OpenSSL, to help secure communications. The first scientific application of RD RAND can be found in an astrophysics. Radio observations of low mass stars and brown dwarfs have revealed that a number of them emit bursts of radio waves. These radio waves are caused by magnetic reconnection, the same process that causes solar flares on the Sun. RD RAND was used to generate large quantities of random numbers for a Monte Carlo simulator, to model physical properties of the brown dwarfs and the effects of the instruments that observe them. They found that about 5% of brown dwarfs are sufficiently magnetic to emit strong radio bursts. They also evaluated the performance of the RD RAND instruction in C and Python compared to other random number generators. Topic: Reception. In September 2013, in response to a New York Times article revealing the NSA's effort to weaken encryption, Theodore So publicly posted concerning the use of RD RAND for dev random in the Linux kernel. I am so glad I resisted pressure from Intel engineers to let dev random rely only on the RDRAND instruction. To quote from the New York Times article, by this year, the SIGINT enabling project had found ways inside some of the encryption chips that scramble information for businesses and governments, either by working with chip makers to insert backdoors, relying solely on the hardware random number generator which is using an implementation sealed inside a chip which is impossible to audit is a bad idea. 
Linus Torvalds dismissed concerns about the use of RD RAND in the Linux kernel, and pointed out that it is not used as the only source of entropy for dev random, but rather used to improve the entropy by combining the values received from RD RAND with other sources of randomness. However, Taylor Hornby of Diffuse Security demonstrated that the Linux random number generator could become insecure if a backdoor is introduced into the RD RAND instruction that specifically targets the code using it. Hornby's proof of concept implementation works on an unmodified Linux kernel prior to version 3.13. Developers changed the FreeBSD kernel away from using RD RAND and via padlock directly with the comment for FreeBSD 10. We are going to backtrack and remove RD RAND and padlock backends and feed them into Yarrow instead of delivering their output directly to dev random. It will still be possible to access hardware random number generators, that is, RDRAND, padlock etc. Directly by inline assembly or by using OpenSSL from userland, if required, but we cannot trust them anymore. See also AES instruction set Bull run decryption program open ssl wolf ssl equals equals notes <laughs>